pretty good US Open. San Jose, I ran into a red hot player, um, but also it was a great experience being at home. Played really well at the Open, even though it wasn't the result I wanted, I came out of it just like, I'm ready to play, I wanna play, I'm ready to play, where do I play? And I couldn't play. And I should have entered the mixed doubles, because I just wanted to play. We had the summer with San Jose, Toronto, Cincinnati, and then US Open. Toronto, <laughs> Toronto was Toronto, but let me tell you, I love that city and I had a good time. Maybe too good of a time. But you know, we, we also left that behind. Thank you, Carl, you treated us so good. Carl Hale in the house. And then Cincinnati, just a great tournament there and just built up on a lot of things. So working with Eric Heckman in the house. And what had happened was, we worked on a lot of things. We worked on serves, we worked on just principles of the game, we worked on footwork, all this stuff like pounding in my head. And I, our joke is, old dog, new tricks. <laughs> and I've been hitting the ball now at home, right now I'm at home, at Lifetime Performance. And another shout out to Kitty. Okay, so back here in Florida, been right after seeing Serena crush the US Open. So now I'm back doing my part to make my life great, which means I have to be here kicking my butt and having other people kick my butt too and then wake up, start over. So that's what I'm doing right now in Florida is my last block of training before I head to China and play my last tournaments. Okay, you want me to help you? You can do it. You did it! We woke up at a breakneck hour. I'm not a morning person, we woke up at 6, 15 for me, I wake up and roll out of bed and roll onto the court. So that's kind of my routine. But um, we woke up and it was raining and in Palm Beach. So we decided, all right, we have to be down in Miami. So let's go on down to Miami. And two and a half hours later, three hours later, we finally made it here through rough hour, rush hour traffic. Do anything for tennis, anything for the game. So. Now we have to hit after being in the car for hours and we're tired, but we're gonna have our best practice. Last practice before Asia. That means that now, like, don't put too much emphasis on everything being perfect because nothing will be perfect in the match. You have to roll with it, but know that you might make a couple errors here and there, but for the most part, you're gonna play pretty well. I wasn't allowed to feel anything growing up. You don't understand. You're supposed to run through the fence and run over glass. You weren't supposed to be out there thinking about anything. So that's how I grew up like that. To the course fast or slow? I don't care. Let's play. Let's play. You know, like. Typically with Venus, we, we revisit some things that need some attention. We work a lot on gaining quad muscle strength, glute strength. Uh, we try to keep the joints healthy, so we do a lot of eccentric work for the shoulders, the elbows. Tennis, as you know, is a grueling game. It takes its wear and tear on the body, and I know that. Um, she gets a lot of her cardio with the practice she has with her coach, and then when she's out on the court ready to go, it's she's got to be 100% ready. So we try to build her up as strong as we can, make sure the engine, engine's nice and big, but also that she's healthy and we're not overloading the joints. Dunsies. You felt no sorrow for me. You made it through. I don't know how. <laughs> there to motivate you. Uh, I don't know how I got into bed this morning. I was so exhausted. We just finished our great workout here and leaving for Asia in just literally a few days. So now is the time I have to polish up, make sure everything's strong, lean, hopefully sexy and hot. But if not, at least strong. In Asia, I'm looking to win every match. 6-0, 6-0. No, actually, even today, like today was one of the first times on court that I was, I felt like not angry. Practice is never perfect and you have to work on like being able to walk off the court and leave it behind and not let it, you know, ruin the rest of your day. But today I, I did, didn't win every point, but I was working on everything that we worked on. All the approach shots and working on all the different spins we worked on. I'm like, okay, I'm incorporating, I'm actually executing it. So my goal in Asia is to execute the techniques we've been working on 
and that builds up and ramps up right straight through Australia. So yeah, ready for Asia. I hope you liked this video and if you did, please follow me and give me a thumbs up, give me a like. And you can also shop my looks in this video. The links are in the description box. Okay, I'll see you guys next week.